Page 33, the tobacco auctioneer. Here we get to explore the idea of having legato and staccato and the difference between them. First, we've got to get the notes and the rhythms and all that. So, common time or 4-4 four, four time. One flat in the key signature, one in the key of F major. Make sure you can do the F major scale, one octave up and down. Right hand first, let's get the notes and the rhythms. Now we're not really moving around, you're just staying in this position pretty much. And it's one and two and three and four and one and two and. You're playing on the ands. Three and four and one and two and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. And this fun. Left hand. So at the beginning it's here, and then they want one, three, one, here, you just come up a little bit. And you can, if you want to, go ahead and play the whole note with one five. Even at the beginning, you can just play it with one five if you want to, and save the thumb for that D. Third line, it's one and two and three and one and. So forth, and then the last line, you're here, and then it down. And I do a 2 1 here. It works for me. Now put the hands together. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Just make sure these are even. Make sure those eighth notes are even. Boom, 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 boom. Now we add the staccatos and legatos. Connect the just a little bit of silence before and after these. Staccato with the wrist here. It's written. You're going to have a little silence between each one. Staccato. Here. Usually, like on the third line, I usually end up connecting those. I mean, the pedal is going to make it all connected anyway, but what they've got is a. You just have to be careful to make sure they're even. Because when you do that, you start getting off. And that's not what we want here. It's got to be even. Dynamic, it goes mainly to the right hand, but on these notes, it's really both hands. So I guess what I'm saying is when you have like a whole note in the left hand, or at the bottom, the last measure in the left hand, keep the left hand in the background. Otherwise, I guess the left hand can play as loud as the right here. Yeah you think moderately loud is. So I'm soft here and moderately and then I'm moderately loud in both hands. It's all pretty much moderately loud, isn't it? Alright. Speed wise Allegro's fast, but it's got to be accurate and even, so don't go beyond that. How fast can you play either the this part, the third line, or whichever part is the hardest for you, but don't go faster than that. That would be my fast. If your fast is... That's your fast? Good enough. Now they've added pedal there and I, I, I would prefer this piece without, I really would, but I guess they want some contrast is the only thing I can think of because it's, it, it's a very different sound between this and this. Those are very different. So that's the only reason I can see that they're adding pedal there. And it's going to be overlapping pedal. You're going to push the pedal down right after or with the notes. If it's a fast piece, you have to pretty much do it with the note. And on the last line, on the first measure, the last note of that measure, I lift the pedal up with that. I don't need it anymore. Right there. And uh, just 
to make sure it doesn't overlap to, uh, into the next measure is all. I like to play it with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'll go ahead and pedal it like they're showing, except for the one change I suggested at the last line. I'll give us four counts, let's just do it slowly together. One, two, ready and go, and one and 